What's that say? Let's find the slope between two points. Oh, boy. But first, we need a game plan. Well, kind of. Yeah. All right. So what? We have these two points. Yeah. My first point, my second point. That's why it's ones. That's why it's twos. So what do I do? It's the change in Y divided by the change in X. Yeah. It's Y2 minus Y1. Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. If you saw these. Oh, there you are over there. <laughs> if you saw these somewhere on the graph, it'd be the rise, the change in Y's over the change in X. What's next? Oh. Oh man, let me see that camera turning. Let's, let's go on over here. Oh boy. Until you're a professional, I strongly encourage that you label it X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Oh, so what do I do? Mm, slope. It's Y2 minus 10 minus Y1, a minus 4. Sure. Divided by X2, 1 minus, oh God, oh God. 1 minus 1. Oh no! Finish him. This is minus 10 plus 4, sure. Divided by 1 minus 1, which is none. Oh god. So what's that? That's minus 6 divided by nothing. That ain't nothing. Yeah, okay, but wait, what is that? That's undefined, because you know, you can never divide by 0. 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 That is undefined. Mm, yeah. Ooh. Let's go try to find the next one. Oh boy. Yeah. All right. Until you're a professional. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Yeah. Label them. So my mm, slope, that's going to be my Y2 minus my Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plug it in. Plug it in. That's 5 minus a minus 7. Yeah. And then that's divided by um, minus 3 minus... Three, oh, we clean that on up. Yeah. Here, minus and minus make mass. So I see that this, this is going to be five plus seven divided by three minus three is minus six, six. So go and five plus seven is 12 on a good day. Look at the nice numbered world you live in divided by whoa, whoa. Let the cat out of the bag. That's still over a six. All right, what's 12 divided by six? Minus deuces, box and flower. <laughs> That one didn't get one. Here you go. You don't want to be left out. Because now I'm, now I'm, whoa, you say. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Uh, until you're a professional, I strongly encourage that you label it. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Wow. These X's, I don't know why's. Okay. Make it look all nice. Now, this is mm, slow. Because you never do the hard ones. Here you go. Here's a hard one. There's one fifth minus uh, minus one half. Yeah, because it's Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2, one fifth minus three tenths. Oh God, oh God. It's getting hot in here. So what do I need to do? I need to get common denominators. Yeah, why do I need to do that? Does it matter the order that I do them in? Uh, actually, no, it doesn't. I can do them in any order. But all right, with short order, let's go ahead and, all right, that's five. So my common denominator is gonna be 10. So I'm gonna multiply this one by a two over two right there. And that's how I get two tenths. This is intense. Okay. And then minus and minus makes plus. And I'm going to multiply this by a five over a five. So then that's five over ten. Yeah. Just like that. I like that. Oh. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to get a common denominator down there in my denominator. So my common denominator is going to be 10. Then this is going to be a 2 over a 2. Why did I do that? Because I wanted the denominator to be 10. So that's a 2 tenths. And then this is minus 3 tenths. Okay. Now that I've achieved common denomination, I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, am I getting too low here? Shorty, get low, get low. Not too low for you. All right. So 2 and 5 is 7 tenths divided by 2 minus 3 is minus one 
tenth. Yeah, and then some of you have heard that rhyme, that hum, that hymn, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So that's seven tenths times um, ten times. Oh, 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 oh! And then what's that? Uh, uh, oh, that's a minus seven because that's seventy over minus ten, which is a minus seven. <laughs> Box and flower. That's a cat tree, isn't it? 